Hello, this is Ami Diamond. In this episode, I'd like to show you and talk about permissions and uh, different uh, groups of permissions. Uh, so by default, uh, we have the members, the owners and the visitors. Uh, but we also have a role which is a bit hidden and it's called a site collection admin. So let's see how um, it behaves both on the communication side and a team side. Um, the advantage of a site collection admin is that he can access everything no matter uh, anything in the site. If, if, if a user is only in the owner group and uh, it, this group is removed from a folder, for instance, he might not have access. So let's test. So let's create now um, a team site and see how is the behavior. Let's call it de demo one and uh, let's call it one two. And actually we will click next and demo 12 will be created. So let's finish and uh, enter and check actually what what permissions were created. So I'm in a team site, which is a collaboration site, and automatically you see it added me as an owner. So I clicked here on this. Uh, if I go to the gear icon and go to site permissions, I'll also see here uh, that the owners are, have full control uh, for the members, uh, the whoever has uh, is only a member will be joined to a members group, and visitors no one gets in this way. Now this is a team site which is a collected to a 365 group. Now if we click here on advanced permission settings, we will see the classical uh, view of permissions. So you see here the three groups of owner, members, and visitors. Now, if we go to the owners group, this SharePoint list, we don't see the owner um, uh, 365 group. So uh, let's wonder where it is. So actually you see here under site collection admin that uh, automatically uh, this owner group, uh, which is like a, a, a like an active directory group uh, is uh, assigned here. So th that means that anyone which is added through the interface uh, as an owner will not be added to the SharePoint permission owner, but to the site collection admin. So that, that avoids the problem uh, if somebody is removed. Oh, if, if, so site collection admin always can access in this, uh, but in, in case uh, this group is removed, then uh, users will actually not even have permission of full control, um, so we need to be uh, aware of it. Um, okay, so this is a team site. Let's see how it is in the communication site. So I will go here and I will go to SharePoint and let's create a communication site. So I clicked on create site, chose a communication. Uh, template and let's call it uh, com999 and I will click finish and now this is, we, we know this uh, communication site um, and now a communication site is not connected to a 365 group so all of the permissions are actually only to for this site just like it was in uh, classical uh, sites uh, so if we go to the gear icon and we go actually to site permissions, you will see that uh, I'm assigned as a full control and uh, for members and visitors, we don't have anything. Let's click on the uh, add advanced permissions. So let's see, uh, I was assuming that under uh, this owner group, uh, I will be a uh, part of it, and that's correct. I'm, I have full control, but actually, I am automatically assigned here to the site collection admin. That means that we said that no matter uh, what permissions or what groups are on the 
on any level, he will have access. So uh, what we can do is actually, if we create a library and say we want uh, specific uh, permissions and we don't, and we remove this owner and the, the user is not in the site collection admin, he will not be able to access it. So uh, let's do experiment. I don't know if it will work, but let's try it. So we're on a document library and actually we will go to the library settings and we will click here on uh, more settings and under permissions and management, we will click on permissions for this document library. Currently it's inheriting the rights from the site. But if we click here to stop inheritance, we can decide uh, who will not have access or who who will have. So actually, if we remove this owner group here, delete unique, sorry. So when we click remove this, if, if, the, if the user is not a site collection admin, he will not have even he will not have access to this uh, area. So um, it's always important that the uh, admin will also have be set as a site collection admin and not only as, um, as the member owner group. Uh, additional thing a site collection admin has uh, rights is actually to the recycle bin because he actually has uh, SharePoint has two recycle bins, um, so uh, a site collection admin has actually, uh, he can see uh, both uh, possibilities. So let's go to site content and now we can see here a recycle bin. And as you see here, we have, this is the first stage and it remains here uh, after it's deleted. But then you see there's also here a link for a second recycle bin and the site collection admin can access the second stage and he can also restore uh, documents that are there. So let's just uh, experiment. Let's upload the file. This is the file and now we will delete it and uh, click delete. So the user, even though he, he thinks he deleted and he doesn't see it in his recycle bin, it, it can still go to, it's, he, to the second recycle bin. So item is deleted. So let's go to um, site content and we will go to recycle bin. This is the item. Now, if we delete it from here, it actually um, doesn't appear, but it's still going to the second one. So you see, we have two stages where we can do that. And actually um, the site collection admin has the rights. Uh, I think both recycle bins, uh, the file can remain there for 93 days. Uh, but uh, if it's during this period, then uh, it's still possible to, re uh, to be deleted or recovered uh, in these two things. So I hope this was uh, of any interest to you and I uh, hope you a uh, nice day and nice weekend. See you in the next episode.